Hello beauties, welcome back. I hope that you all had a really good week. I'm going to dive in here with our guides to bring us through some messages for the coming week. And as usual, I've drawn a card from the Reinforced Wisdom deck. I haven't looked at it yet. Let's see what we got. Whoa, have we ever pulled this card before? The Jaguar, I'm pretty sure Jaguar was on the list of cards that I realized that we had never pulled in a group reading. So that is awesome to see. It's like one of my favorite art pieces in the whole deck. It's really powerful. So the Jaguar is the boundaries card. When it comes up, it's reminding us that our boundaries are sacred and important. So let's dive in. Oops. Let's dive in with the guides here and see what messages I can get for this week. Mm -hmm. So what's coming up here first is that the way that this might show up for us, first of all, this week is that we might be realizing that we need to set a boundary within ourselves, that there's something that we want to change about what it is that we are tolerating within ourselves, uh, where our lines in the sand are drawn. And this internal, this decision begins internally it's an internal conversation, an internal realization that might be happening before any kind of external boundaries are set out in the world. Let's look at a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So what can happen is that Sometimes other people will cross our boundaries or we will find ourselves irritated or resentful in our relationships. Uh, maybe somebody is taking too much and uh, we find ourselves, um, you know, kind of feeling resentment, but not having actually expressed to this person our boundary in the first place. And so resentment tends to show us, or this, you know, it might not be resentment, it could be another feeling within our relationships or we're realizing that we don't want to tolerate something or that we've just had enough of something or something needs to change. And what our guides are saying here is that instead of immediately going and blaming the other person or looking at the relationship and saying they need to change their behavior to make this relationship better, our guides are saying, what, first of all, did <laughs> has a boundary been expressed in the first place? Has somebody crossed a boundary that they didn't know was there? And if so, it is our responsibility to communicate a boundary and that resentment is giving us information about where and what that boundary is. And then it's on us to communicate our needs with other people when it's appropriate. But our guides are also saying that instead of immediately going and saying this other person is the problem, what we might need to do this week is come back in to ourselves and ask ourselves how we have been showing up, maybe we haven't been communicating our needs. Maybe we haven't been clear around what our boundaries are. And so, um, you know, before we go and project outward into the world, we're being asked to take the feelings that we're getting as information that are going to be informing us about what, where, where the boundaries are that we need to draw within ourselves first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this could be regarding something in our businesses, 
Perhaps we have set our prices. We set our prices a long time ago. This is just an example, but it is coming up from the guides. Uh, we set our prices a long time ago. And since we've done that, people have grown accustomed to that price. And we are afraid to raise our prices or we're afraid to uh, own the value of what it is that we're offering. And so we've been staying at a price point that we've felt for a while isn't a reflection of our true value. Now, if we're feeling, you know, in this situation, resentment toward our clients or our customers or whatever, that isn't on our customers. It's not on other people. It's on us to take responsibility for changing the value to reflect what has changed in us. And this doesn't just have to be in business. It can be in other areas of our lives as well, because the feeling is, is that whatever the boundaries used to be or whatever the value or the standard or whatever it was, it, it used to fit. It used to be a good fit, but somewhere along the line, we've changed. And it's okay to change and it's okay for our needs to be updated. It's okay for our value to be updated, for, for our boundaries to be updated. And so this is a week where we might be, be um, taking uh, accountability for where those changes have happened and where those updates need to be applied. And they're also mentioning that having these newly drawn updates, boundaries, whatever you want to call them, it isn't just about keeping energy out. Uh, it's not just about, you know, pushing others away. That's, that's, I mean, maybe some of it, maybe for some of us, but what I'm seeing it more importantly is that it's creating a safe container for new growth to happen, for us to grow into this new bigger space of which we have set a parameter around. Let's look at that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to step into these next versions of ourselves, the, the, the next version of our expanded nature, it's going to be important for us to pay attention and notice when we are collapsing ourselves. And our guides are saying that something that we can do this week as an exercise here is notice our behavior and when we notice that we are uh, collapsing instead of expanding and holding that edge where it needs to be, we're going to label it and notice it as, oh, this is an outdated version of me showing up in this scenario. And we're doing that without judging it we're, we're observing it, we're observing it and we're labeling it, but we're not judging it. We're not shaming ourselves because of it. Okay, so neutral observation of behavior is a powerful first step when we, when we see ourselves, when we feel ourselves shrink, when we feel ourselves collapse our, our boundaries or betray ourselves or betray our own uh, authenticity or our own needs we can take a moment and say, oh, this is an outdated version of myself showing up. And if it's helpful, you might also take a note of it in your journal or, you know, note in your phone, however you like to do that. Excuse me. 
<coughs> I think the smoke is making me cough. Pardon me, you guys. Ooh. Okay. Let me go back in here. Yeah, so that's your assignment this week. Noticing from a neutral place where we collapse our boundaries. And then maybe through that observation, identifying somewhere within yourself that a boundary needs to be set. So what am I no longer willing to tolerate in my own behavior, right? What, what is a feeling that if I could set a boundary that I could avoid, right? Something that I that doesn't feel good, that feels like me shrinking. And it, if you